Well, good evening everybody. Michael Soothing here and I have another unboxing video for you. This box is pretty big also, but it's not something I purchased. This box came from someplace overseas. It came from Europe. It came from a town called someplace in Denmark. Can you believe it? And the sender, I'm trying to make out the sender's name. It says Joanne, and her last name is Scorpio Ann YT, so far as I can tell. So, that's an unusual last name, I know. And then, um, it's of course addressed, see look at all the interesting stamps. Look at all that postage that has to go on there. I had to sign for this thing too. It was registered. Prioritaire. Let's see what the, uh, what the stamp mark is. What do they call this? A postmark. Oh, this must be uh, Danish crowns. Let's see how much this cost in Danish crowns. I see an orange 300 stamp and I see uh, one, two, three red 50 crown stamps and a 25 crown stamp that's green. So all together we have here 475 crowns. That's quite a bit. And since it's seven crowns to the dollar, my math skills are poor. I'm going to say that's about 50 bucks or something like that. Plus or minus 10, okay? Give me a little bit of latitude. However, lest we think that's a very exorbitant amount for shipping a box of this weight that's got quite a few ounces in it, I shipped something there um, a few weeks ago, and it was, I don't know what, more like 120 bucks. And then Denmark, they like to rip you off and say, oh, you have to pay a bunch of custom and duty fees. Even if the thing in your package costs $10, we want 100 bucks, okay? That's how they work, because it's, you know, they're trying to get revenue. And as you can see, it's, it's addressed to me, Michael Soothing, uh, residing in the same town I've been in before, all along, someplace Oregon. So, which is a very nice town. It's quiet in someplace Oregon. And, um, except when the geese are all mating, and then we keep hearing the Canada geese trying to figure out what might be in here. It makes quite a racket when I look back and forth. So there's, it's something sliding. Some of what is in here could be proprietary. So when I open this box, I might not be able to show you everything that's in it. Uh, but I'm going to show you whatever I can. an LDR, okay, a, sometime you might send a card or something to your boyfriend or girlfriend, and that's not for anyone else to read in an unboxing video, unless there's nothing personal in it. So I'm opening this box. I don't think I'm going to change the camera angle this time and pan down to the table because that requires too much effort and I want to be lazy. Anyway, I think you'll be able to see this better if I hold whatever's in here up to the camera. Ah, uh, looky here. I'm going to show you. I hope this isn't making too big of a racket. See? card. It doesn't say a name on it, 
but I'm assuming that's to me. I'm pretty sure. I'll open that and check and let you know. Let's see. But if there's anything personal, I'm not reading it to you. We do have limits, you know, and YouTube is being very strict now. They demonetize and they ban and they age restrict videos if you say anything like love or kiss or, uh, you know, anything like that. Um, because Disney bought out the, the channel. Um, so I'm going to refrain from any political diatribes here because I don't do that on my channel. But it seems like there's a bit of a double standard sometimes. Uh, this must be... Uh, this is like... Didn't I ask you guys what this meant before, this Danish phrase? Gold chul. Okay, anyway. It means Merry Christmas, I think. Yeah, anyway, let's see here. Hello, babe. Happy birthday. Okay, because, you know, I hate to keep doing videos that reference my birthday because then you all feel like saying happy birthday and you all did that already. So don't do it anymore. I really appreciated it, but now it's past. So, you know, but I wanted to share this with you since I shared um, the great gift that the house ghost gave me, which I showed you before in the other unboxing video. I would like to continue to share with you. Uh, let's see, what parts can I read? I have to censor every other word because YouTube will disallow it if it has words like this, or hopefully, or birthday, or fun. So I'll cut all those out. Happy birthday. Hopefully you will get this by your birthday. I hope you will have a fun birthday. Oh, I said I had to censor all that. Have a bite of your birthday cake for me. I wish I could something you. Okay, it says kiss, okay. Uh, but that'll probably get me censored and banned the way YouTube's going these days. Um, all right. Oh, there's even something here from For the House Ghost. Wow. Okay. Who turned on the kitchen light and is making a racket? When I'm trying to create the proper ambiance here with my lighting. Okay. Did you see movement back there? Oh, pfft. there is a ghost around here. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, this looks yummy. This looks kind of Easter-y, too, because Easter's coming right up soon. And it reminds me a little bit of those little peeps, marshmallow peeps. But we can't get this here, really. Haribo. Um, my memory's so bad that once again I forgot the jingle. And maybe the house ghost mm -hmm. will sing it gently in the background. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, you might have heard that off in the distance. Chamallows, the Smurfs family. Oh, these are like Smurf mallows. I don't know the Smurf characters. All I know is that they're blue. Because um, I wasn't really following that show when it was on. But I think my kids watched it sometimes. And I can't remember their name. Uh, I gotta have a sip of water, you know. I always have to annoy you by pausing and having a drink. Okay. The Happy World of Haribo, it says there, which you just heard sung gently in the background. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, they have the whole jingle on here. So even people with bad memory should be able. Because see, it says, 
kids and grown-ups love it so. The happy world of Haribo. And all those Smurfs look pretty happy. And Smurfettes. I guess you would call the female ones Smurfettes, wouldn't you? I'm using my new camera, by the way, and it seems like it understands the lighting a little bit better than my other one did. But they're very similar, the two. Uh, should I try one of these? I think I should. So I am going to... A classy person would take these scissors right here and cut the side there to get that out. So what I'll do is rip it with my teeth. And we'll try a Smurf. Do you think these taste different as Smurfs than they would if they were shaped as little chicks? There's the little Smurf character, see? I don't know which one that is. Maybe you can tell me. Look, he wiggles. I could do theater with two or three of these, maybe. Have them talking to each other in dialogue while I'm off the screen. Mm. Mm. I feel a bit of a sugar rush coming on. Raspberry is the flavor. No artificial colors. Oh, that's nice. Because I see there's blue and yellow, pink, but there's no artificial coloration, so. But that can be scary, too, because I understand that sometimes candy companies use, like, bug parts to get the red coloration and stuff. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. That might be a wives' tale or something, right? Oh, the house ghost said it's true. So that maybe that is scary. Saturine. 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 Uh, blue, I say. Sakura blue. Yeah, red crushed beetles. Okay, so you may think getting a natural coloration is great. Just remember you're eating crushed beetles when you're eating it. So you may say, bring back some of that artificial red dye after all, right? Okay, I, I kind of like the sound of the bag, but we're going to put that aside now, and we're going to see what else is in here. This looks very interesting. Uh, it's got a penguin on it, and I've never seen this before, or if I have seen it, I have forgotten. You know that um, my long distance, my LDRGF, is leaving Denmark soon to move to the Philippines, although we're planning a summertime visit together for an extended period um, here in the States. But um, I hope it's okay that I said that. I'm not sure if it is. Let's just say we might have a visit. Anyway, um, she's going to miss Denmark because in her videos they do, uh, she does a sampling of a lot of different kinds of candy that you never heard of in your life. They must have 10,000 varieties in the stores there. I mean, you walk into even a small town like where she lives, they have specialty candy stores that are loaded with all kinds of strange things you never heard of in your life. And you know, our stores in America have quite a bit of variety, but nothing like Denmark. So I think Sweden's kind of like that too. Maybe Scorpio Ann will tell us in comments since she lived in Sweden for quite a long time whether it's the same there. All right, but this is called Pingvin. Pingvin. I don't know if that's Danish or Scandinavian for penguin 
or if they're just making a play on the name for this candy. But there's the paper. I think this is flavored licorice of some kind. Tom's Confectionery. I've heard of that company, of course. Let's see what this is. Is it labeled in English anywhere? I'm looking, but I'm not finding. Maybe I'll have to taste it to figure it out. I think I see five different flavors. And they're dual flavors, because as you can see, like the yellow one has a dark center, so maybe it's banana with chocolate or something. The orange one has sort of a uh, cream color center, etc. So, I think I'm going to have to try one of these. I hope this isn't the candy that she told me about that is really salty like that horrid licorice stuff they eat that tastes like you had an entire salt lick packed into a little brown, you know, granule. But, and I'm saying that as someone who likes a little bit of salt in their candy, like uh, chocolate with sea salt is good and yummy, but let's open one of these. Let's have a bite, a small bite, and see what this is. This is, for me, this is fear factor because I don't like trying things that I don't know what they are, but I'll be adventurous for the sake of my YouTube channel. Hmm. Pretty good so far. I see. It's like a banana flavor with licorice inside. I'm not a licorice fan, but this is an interesting flavor combination. So I kind of like it. I'll have another little bite. I don't want to overdo it. Because then I'll have to take another exercise walk in the rain. We took one a little while ago, but it was raining on us. And the house ghost didn't get wet because of a big transparent bubble umbrella that completely covers your entire head and torso. But I just had my coat with the hood on it. However, that worked fine. Now, there are two more confectionery items in this box. I'll show you. They look the same, but I don't think they are. Joanne, my GF, happens to know that I love Marabou because when I went to Denmark I had some and it was yummy. But I see that she also has a very good memory because she must have remembered that the house ghost really loves the Marabou with the orange in it. And look what she sent for Chelsea to have marabou with orange. See, this is the advantage of having a good memory, which I do not. You can remember what people like. So that was very kind of her. And marabou chocolate, I think, is the most yummy when it comes to a melt-in-your-mouth creaminess. Is this Danish? You know I asked this same question last time, and you all told me, and now I can't remember. And you're all going to tell me again. You're going to tell me that it's probably Belgium or 
Swiss or something. I'm going to find it on here. I think it is Danish because isn't, isn't that the Danish crest? That crown thing? I think it is. So, Coco Life. It's got a green seal of approval there, see. I'm not going to open this one because I'm going to let my house ghost open it and have this one over time. But there's another one in here, which I will open and take a bite of and sample. Let's see if I've had this before. Okay, this is more clear. Oh, the other one is clear too. It's just that I'm blind, even with my glasses on. I'll show you. It says here, well, it's hard to see, to my, uh, made in Sweden, see? So it's Swedish chocolate. I would have thought that chocolate this yummy would have been Belgian or Swiss, but you see, the Scandinavians know how to make really good chocolate. Marabou. Yeah. Wait a minute. Am I getting confused? Haribo. Yeah. Anyway, I was just confusing myself with some stray thoughts. Don't worry. Haribo. The other chocolate bar just vanished. I think the house ghost is a poltergeist. You know, they pick things up and move them when you're not looking which is why I always lose my pen and things like that, right? My glasses. Did you ever see the movie Poltergeist? It had a couple of interestingly freaky scenes and good special effects for its day, like the scene where the mother turns around to talk to the daughter, you know, and she's by the kitchen and the table and the chairs. She turns around to talk to the daughter and when she looks back, the chairs are all piled up on top of the table. You know, it like happened in three seconds with no sound. That was, that was kind of a, a freaky scene. Anyway, this one is another Marabou. Is it Marabou or Marabou? I want to know how the Filipino pronunciation would be because usually an O is pronounced O, not U. So anyway, Marabou, Marabou. So you guys tell me, all right? And I don't know what the Swedish pronunciation would be. What does hell not mean? Does that mean Swedish? You tell me, you sweet. I have viewers who are Swedish and viewers who are Danish. I even have a couple of Norwegian subbies, and then I have some subbies from some other uh, European, mostly UK, which, um, yeah, I love the UK, and um, those Northern European countries. It's very clean and nice there. Um, I like the, the trains that go everywhere, because you don't have to... Uh, you know, drive all over the place. You can hop on a train and get anywhere really fast without any traffic or congestion. That's kind of nice. But then I miss the independent mobility. You know, us Americans, we want to have the freedom to get in our car and drive from nowhere to nowhere anytime we feel like it. You know, it might be 2 a.m. and it's like, Oh, I want to go down to the 7-Eleven and get a soda. And, you know, but there's sodas in the fridge. That doesn't matter. I feel like driving down to get a soda. So, you know, that's how we are. So, anyway, you know, because we love to go places. Around here, there's a lot of great places to go. Beaches and trails. I'm off topic again. All right, folks. So anyway, this one 
is, I think, hazelnut. It probably says that on here. In fact, that's probably what that means, right? I'm just going to assume that means hazelnut. Hazelnut. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. And you Swedes are laughing at me right now. Don't try to deny it. Okay, maybe you were stifling a laugh, but you know you were laughing. All right, so let me open this and at least take one small bite. Even the package feels good to me. It feels like the way a chocolate bar should feel. Big, heavy thing. And uh, listen, it's unwrapping itself. Can you hear it? Wow. You know what? Since this is my favorite chocolate, I'm not going to bite it with my teeth this time. I'm going to actually cut the end like this and make it nice and nice and neat here. So that I can seal it back up and have one little bit at a time. I make this chocolate last since I like it so much. Oh, that looks yummy. Here's the chocolate. I got two squares. What is that on the squares? An insignia, an M for Michael Soothing. Oh, no, wait. I think it's for Marabou. Marabou. That's kind of like Haribo. Maribo, Haribo. Let's try this. See the hazelnuts? They look pretty yummy, don't they? But it's the chocolate I really love. Oh my goodness. I am having taste gasm. That is so good that I want it to go on forever. Maybe I'll have tiny, tiny bites. I'll cut it into a hundred tiny little squares and have it that way. Orange. An orange one floated out of the ether and now I can try this variety too. Hmm. genuine citrus in it. No artificial stuff. That's really yummy too. I would lick my fingers but the house ghost would go insane because she, does, she hates it when people lick their fingers when they're eating which I kind of understand because I've always been disgusted by that myself. Except when you do it, your, when your hands are clean and you lick your own fingers, you're not disgusted by it. But when you see anyone else do it, then it's just, you know, because we're a little hypocritical that way. Mm. See? Melted chocolate. But I have a Kleenex right over there that I can retrieve. To wipe my fingers with. Because I dare not lick the chocolate off my fingers. House poltergeist wouldn't want to see such a thing, right? So, okay, so yeah, we'll just do this, keep everything nice and clean there, like that. All right, so anyway, this was a very yummy unboxing, far more tasty than when I unboxed my camcorder. And um, 
I mean, I guess I could have tasted my camcorder, but I don't think the culinary experience would have been quite the same. Do you? All right, so, um, I thank you very much, Scorpio NYT, a.k.a. Joanne, a.k.a. Babe, for sending this package from all the way from Denmark across 3,000 miles of ocean and 3,000 miles of continent. That's 6,000 miles altogether, 10,000 kilometers or something for your, 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 your Europeans. I guess it's a little late. That must be the problem. And I haven't had my dinner yet. Except now I've had enough calories. I've had my full sugar ration. So all I can eat now is protein and vegetables and fruit. And so I will go prepare that. Um, I have a small pizza that consists of just fruit and vegetables. Well, there might be some crust and there might be some pepperoni on it and a little bit of cheese and maybe no fruit. But other than that, you know, it's very close. So, um, anyway, it's not chocolate. But I will have one more square for dessert later because this is just too good to pass up. All right, everyone, don't ASMR drive. I hope you're having a good week, and I hope that you had a good weekend. Right now it's Monday for me here, but I won't get this uploaded until Tuesday, so you already are three days away from the weekend. All right, take care, everyone. Don't ask him hard